to say certain things is because, you know, people have a tendency to misscrew uh, what is being represented. I don't recall at any time ever saying that Mullins would not uh, do a split of the shares, okay? Um, I don't own any shares with Mullins. I want to make sure you guys have understanding. I make my money when these cars come out the line with my technology uh, inst installed in these vehicles. And that's why I made a deal with Mullins. Uh, I didn't take any shares. So I have no dog in this hunt regarding hyping stocks or whatever. But I don't feel that the stocks are being hyped because Mullins has been transparent. And I done further uh, inquiries and, and spoken with the right people with Mullins. Uh, it was in the best interest of all of us uh, for them to split the shares. I know some of you are not happy, but when you see the outcome, everybody wins now. Everybody wins. Uh, so when you invest, that's the risk that you take. But however, you guys made a great risk. And I'm, this is coming from me because my reputation is on the line as well. And I have to be transparent, make sure that everything that I say is factual and truthful. We're on the SEC. You can't be just making up stories or whatever to appease uh, your investors. Unlike some, we're not going to be making announcements every single day to keep up with the competition. We make announcements based on the progress and where we are. Where Mullins is today, Mullins have a multiple vehicles. They have a car, they have a, a crossover SUV, they have multiple big trucks, and they have the vans. They already have vans, they already have orders, okay? As you may know or may not know, Mullins has a facility in Indiana. They also have one in Michigan. They have one in Tunica, Mississippi, in my home state. And they also have a facility in Braille, California, and perhaps other uh, locations. But my focus is here, right here in the United States. I came into this uh, uh, agreement with Mullins, because I want to make it clear for you guys. And I'm proud of David for what he done. We, they spent months betting me. They didn't just meet me on Friday and sign the deal on Monday, okay? I invested my own personal money to be given an opportunity to prove to Mullins that what I had was real and it worked. I went to their facilities. I was there for months, okay? They opened the door for me. Mullins has some very talented engineers, some of the best in the country. And all they really needed was the right boost to take Mullins to the next level. And where we are right now, there are a lot of people it's kind of unhappy because Mullins has the greatest technology, okay? I was honest with you guys. I gave you my background about my past. Despite me being innocent, it happened. Life goes on. I can't take back the time that I lost. But I can make the time that I have here much better. So I want to say to you shareholders, and I'm sure you're looking at this and I'm looking in your eyes. This is coming from me. I've done my own inquiries because I care about people. There are those that are worried if the stock's going to split again. Now, from what I heard and what's been represented to me, that's not happening again. And uh, from what I know, I don't see why would they do it in the future, especially with where we stand. Right now, presently in Washington, D.C., we are retrofitting uh, Chevy Bolts, B-O-L-T-S, for the D.C. government, Okay. The success and the progress is great. DC have cars on the streets right now. And when they come off the line, they are already assigned for, for employees who are traveling around DC, the DC area with our technology. That is a one year contract. So therefore what it means, even though we are all nearly completed, we still will be around for a whole year to make sure that our products and activities are very good. And we're doing that. We have some great MIT graduates. We got people with doctrines, the whole nine yards, okay? That's, we're giving the best quality. Yes, I designed this, I created it,
but it takes a team. A quarterback cannot win a football game without having a great team. So I'm quarterbacking everything. And yes, do I have something to prove? Yes. I knew when I stepped out in this arena that there was those going to question what's real and what isn't real. I have nothing to gain by misleading anyone. The technology is what it is. It has been proven. It has been tested numerous times on numerous vehicles. What more could you guys want? You guys want production? We're going in production. But we're not going to make an announcement just to appease everybody and say, okay, the car is ready today. We want to make sure that car is in tip-top shape. When I make the announcement that it's gone in production, you better believe the quality is there. Mullen is holding me accountable to make sure everything works perfectly fine. We're doing this. We're testing over and over and over and over. If I want the car to hit the streets tomorrow, we could do that. Just appease shareholders and investors. But that's not going to happen. We are producing quality vehicles. All eyes on Mullins. Just like all eyes on Tesla. There's not a day past that someone has something to say about Tesla. I'm sure Elon Musk is reading the, what people are saying about his cars and this and that. He has a great car. One of the greatest uh, electric cars out on the market. Yet he still goes on attack. So I don't expect nothing less when it comes to mothers. Unless someone is dishonest with you or blatantly lied to you about something, then you have a right to be upset. And I want you to know I'm very compassionate about those of you who invested a lot of money. I read your emails. I can't respond to certain things because I don't have the authority to respond about executive matters with mothers. That's not my lane there. What I am concerned, I do inquire, but if any announcement is going to come out, it should come from Mullins. But I do have a right as being a partner with Mullins, their independent uh, additional company that they formed, to make sure that my credibility stays intact because I'm in I'm partnership with Mullins. Yes, some of you guys invest in money. The stocks is here and there. That's before I ever come in the picture, okay? But I'm in the picture now. And Mullins made a, a good decision to benefit you guys. And I think you guys should be grateful and, and be thankful to him. Yeah, I hear the things uh, that some people say about the CEO. And I think you're wrong. I think you, it's cruel to some of the things. You know, you got companies out here, they want to see Mullins fail. You know, we're competition now. But there's no need to fight with Mullins. Mullins has already made the announcement. Every, any area automotive company in the country outside of the U.S. They're making this technology available to you. So everybody eats. There's a slight piece of the pie for everybody. So what you would have is no different than what's on the market now. You have a bunch of different designs, different name brand electric vehicle. They all look different. Majority of them look nice. People are buying them. But the results are the same. They're getting 250 miles, you know, not real-time miles, but they all, the results are about the same. Mm -hmm. So how we work together as a team where everybody wins, we utilize this technology. People having battery anxiety, okay? We solve that problem where you can travel a long distance. You guys couldn't even accept the fact that I increased the miles to three to 500 miles. Are you ready for us to show you more which is coming forth? that we extend this mileage tremendously. So Mullen has put their faith in me to provide additional capital to take this technology to the next level. If I created all this in a garage with meters and monitors and battery charges, what do you think I can do now with the proper funding? I got a state-of-the-art laboratory. I got a laboratory at my home. I'm able to work at Mullen's facilities with the assistance of their engineers. We, we're taking the world by storm. But guess what? We're not being selfish. We're not, no disrespect to Tesla, just we're not extending our charging station but only but the Tesla family. We're extending ours to everybody. Everybody's family now. And when you hear me say the slogan, making America better, because we're putting people back to work. The technology is a quality technology. 
It has a high profit margin where we can put people back to work with good salaries and also have benefits. When you guys say these things, you got to understand, mothers have people that work for them. They have families. They have children that they drop off at daycare centers prior to going to work at mothers. And they're looking forward to have a job so they can continue to pay their mortgages and all of that. Nobody's out here to hurt anybody. Nobody want to see anybody lose. And I'm going to tell you, I appreciate my, uh, David for taking a risk with me. Just like when he took the risk, there was those that opposed it. This and that. You know, you got these guys out here, you know, trying to uh, buy and sell the stocks and make it go down or whatever. But guess what? We got some great things on the scene. And I promise you guys that in a couple of weeks, I will be coming out with some great things. As y'all know, everything that I represent, I do it. If I tell you I'm going to be somewhere at a certain time, I do it. If I tell you this is what's happening, I do it. Now, let's clarify this Saudi deal, okay? Uh, there's rumors out there, okay, about the amount, what it is, who we're dealing with, all of that. There has been a tentative agreement assigned, okay? And we're working out territories. Our Saudi deal is worth way more than $10 billion, okay? And I'm going to leave it at that. We want them to make their announcement because you guys probably wouldn't believe it anyway. So let them make their announcements. And that gives clarity. So no one won't misrepresent uh, saying that David said this or David said that. He's a great guy. I have nothing to do with whatever you think of his past or present or whatever, but his future is bright. And once again, I must say, David made the executive decision to bring me in, okay? All these companies that's calling me every day now, they wasn't knocking at the door until the government announced that they gave me a pilot program where they paid me $17,000 per vehicle for installing my technology in their vehicle. And they made the announcement, they gave me a sole source contract. That meaning nobody in the country had the technology. They advertised it, gave people ample opportunity to come forward to say that they had anything like it. No one come forward. So the contract was awarded to me. Mullis took a chance. There were people out there that we met with. They had the same opportunity that Mullins had to be able to utilize this technology. And they kind of waited till the next company came in. So here we are today. Mullins is pushing their trucks. They're pushing their vans. We're doing our installation. We're doing everything. Okay? Let me just say this to you guys. Mullins is in a good position. An excellent position. And they're going in production. We will be making those announcements. I'm um, looking forward to uh, installing the technology in the Mullins vehicle. I will be test driving them. I'll be doing more tests, additional tests. Uh, we're going to move forward with this vehicle. And then we can talk about a competitive to Tesla. I love the car. It's beautiful. It's attractive. And with the hard technology, I think it's going to sell very well. So with that being said, you hear it from me live and in person, Lawrence Hart. I want to say thank you guys for believing in me. I thank the Mullen shareholders uh, for your support. I get a lot of text messages and all of that. But if anywhere that I may have said something that made anyone think that I said there wasn't be a split, uh, I don't recall. And that wouldn't have been my place to say that anyway. But I'm saying I've had discussions and I don't see no split in the future. So with that being said, Mullins, we're on our way. Uh, I'm pleased with uh, my salary. I mean, what they paid me, $5 million. They have kept their word. The 50000 I sit down with them. I'm pleased with Mullins' actions. They have not lied to me about anything. They've been a blessing. And I'm able to bless others. With that being said, you guys, you have a great day and stay tuned within the next two weeks. 
as I give you my word, I plan to follow through, and I promise you will be excited. But in closing, I'm going to say this to you. No one is going to go out and make announcements to appease anyone because you're hearing rumors out there. We make announcements on facts, not fiction. Thank you.